But every year, I think, because of our budget and because there's so much good music out there, every year we have a, at least a very good lineup. But some years we have a great lineup, and this year is a great lineup. And I was thinking about all that, and I was wondering what's the difference between, how do you know what's the difference? How do you get a very good lineup versus a great lineup? And the difference is luck. It's just that simple four-letter word. There's many bands that we've been trying to get for many years that this year uh, said yes uh, to Edmonton. The one big change is, as I say, that we're only going online on Saturday, June the 4th, and June 5th. Um, then we'll open up our office uh, during the week. I don't know how tickets are going to sell, but I have a feeling it's a hot lineup, and there's a lot of hunger out there. Uh, being outdoors, of course, is, is very helpful in... Uh, you know, because COVID is still with us. So a couple of big changes this year. We're applying for an all-site license, which we were doing in 2020. We don't know if we'll, we'll get it, but we think we will. Um, that will be nice. People will be able to, uh, you know, there should, should no longer be hour or two-hour two hour wait up waits to get into the beer tent. Uh, we also will be doing, um, I'm not sure if MJ's here this morning. Uh, we're doing... Some in, we're going to be doing uh, impromptu indigenous performers throughout the site, as well as having indigenous performers um, throughout the lineup. Uh, so that's going to be uh, exciting. It seemed like once we got one or two big names, the, the others seemed to come along. I had someone cancel uh, on us that I was bringing in for Sunday night, and that same day I got a, an email saying, you know, Old Crow Medicine Show might be around your area. So it was just that kind of year. 2020 wasn't that kind of year. It was a struggle to get the lineup I wanted, but we worked hard on it. We had to, you know, put shows together and massage it as we usually do. We're not we're not the big payers. We pay, you know, we pay reasonably well, but uh, we can't compete with the kind of fees that that people pay in the states because they charge a lot more in, and you know, t-shirts are and beer and everything is more expensive, and then they have VIP tickets as well, which we don't. Um, but I, I I don't know if there'll be a better main stage at a at a folk festival, at a folk festival, not any other festival, but at a folk festival this year. Um, and I'm looking at England, I'm looking at the States, I'm looking all around Canada. Um, this is the one I'd want to go to. Uh, we've lost volunteers, uh, we've lost Barry Allen, a local star, but now it's time to celebrate. It's time to come back together as a community. Well, you know, I think this town needs the folk festival.